Well, g'day everyone. Uh, in this week's vlog, I want to talk about simplifying your woodland images and uh, not overthinking your composition and the images you're taking. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, woodland's hard when you have uh, preconceived or uh, pre-sort of meditated ideas of what you want to shoot, which is, you know, can't, can be a good thing but if you overthink the process, um, it makes it harder. And I actually was doing that uh, prior to um, vlogging this or, or coming to this spot. Uh, I was actually gonna give up. Even though I've been here a lot of times, I've shot a, the same images. So I really start need to looking for somewhere else to shoot. But being up on a hill here, I always get low cloud when um, the night before there's rain or in the early morning there's gonna be cloud. I always know that this place is going to be on. So yeah, I was up there thinking, um, almost ready to give it up. And I just put all my gear away and just came for a walk uh, along a road here, which the vlogging camera's on. Walking along, listening to some kookaburras singing and some parrots. And this, uh, this scene jumped out at me. Um, and I'll talk you through why it did. I really like the, the cloud coming in uh, over the top of the image and you've got some light coming down through here just um, sort of opening the image up through the middle here but that cloud on the back still killing off all that open space as it opens out into the valley down there and then you've got that tree in the background that's leaning that way but also sort of a symmetrical feeling or symmetry to it is there's this deadfall dotted throughout the scene that are going that way as well so it's that I talked about it before, that flow through the image of this deadfall and this kind of tunnel vision looking down. Uh, yeah, it just um, jumped out at me. Set my tripod up. I'm at 50 mil on my 24 to 200. And that's pretty much it. Um, so getting that first image um, sort of gets it out of first gear and I'm quite eager now to walk along and try and get another image. So yeah, that's kind of my thought process in that and not overthinking uh, an image and just letting the scene come to you. So yeah, here's the first image and I'll move on. Another scene that jumped out at me here, coming along the road. No, um, no expectations or, or uh, like I said, sort of premeditated thoughts on exactly what I wanted to shoot. And this scene's, I know it's it's got a spooky vibe to it, yet a um, real chaotic looking vibe too. It's just all the the trunks of the gums. Again, uh, wouldn't work in these. Uh, Without these conditions, this, this atmospheric low cloud coming through, wind's picking up, so it might blow the cloud out soon. Hope not. Hopefully I get a couple more images um, and tell you uh, my thought process and what I'm going through and how I'm not always um, come out here with an idea of getting a certain image. Um, and like I'm saying, it's, what, it, it's a good thing just to come out um, without any, again, preconceived ideas and just take your camera and see what jumps out of you. And this scene definitely does. I just like the way the black trees, the green of the uh, grasses through the scene and then that fog gives this kind of an ethereal, spooky kind of look, which, uh, you know, I like. So I'll show you it here. This is what I'm talking about. Camera's just over here. I'm looking down here. Real chaotic kind of scenes. 
but uh, with a uh, slightly underexposed, I've made these trees, these trunks a lot darker um, against that, the lightness of the, the, the cloud or the, the fog. And then of course the green grass is going through a bit of deadfall. And just the, I don't know, the juxtaposition of the trunks um, and how they interact with each other, I think looks pretty cool. You've got one going that way, another one, and then some real straight ones. Um, just looks chaotic yet, I don't know, calm, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'll chuck this image up. I'm going to keep walking along this road. And um, hopefully uh, I can get a couple more images um, just by walking along this road and taking it all in. Here it is. I'm going to talk you through my final image here. Literally, again, walking along here, um, stopped um, at, in my uh, tracks because I saw a scene that, again, just jumped out at me. And I've got a fallen deadfall branch. It's uh, from a gum tree, obviously, and it's really smooth and white against the green um, of the bracken. And um, Got some nice trees in the background there too, and it, of course it falls off with that that heavy heavy cloud. Uh, and again, what I like, what I did is I set my camera up here, and I go through uh, my. Uh, I like a scene. I like to go through my uh, crop ratios within the camera, 16 by 9, full frame, and then one to one ratio or square crop. And I was standing here, took the image. I'll show you them both soon. Uh, and the square, square crop really worked nicely, I thought. Um, it's got these two trees here, and then this really nice tree down the background. Um, it seems a little bit tight, um, but overall I was quite pleased with it. And then I thought I'd go down just a bit further down here and go wide, uh, about 24, 25 mil, uh, 16 by nine. And I think that shot was even better. So I'm gonna chuck both of them up and uh, let me know, just uh, out of the blue kind of image, walking along here, possibly the image of the morning, again, let me know. I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. Yeah, here they are.